Welcome to DBL. What day is it today, ladies? Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't practice. No. We didn't practice. And they, you we guys didn't. were about to go forward, and you both decided not to go forward. <laughs> yep, we were. Obvious. We took it back. All right. Okay, got to work on that. Well, <laughs> we are starting today with a big party in New York City. Models from the 60th anniversary Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, edition Walk the Red Carpet. Patrick and Brittany Mahomes were there. Brittany wore this naked cutout dress with silver flowers. Chrissy Teigen shined with her husband, John Legend, mm. in this pink beaded crop top and beige mini skirt. Mm. Christy Brinkley was also there looking fantastic in this red gown with oversized sleeves. Martha Stewart, I know, Tori, you're not a fan of this look. Up. No, she can look much sexier. Okay. All right. Well, it's a satin dress and it's underneath a matching mesh knit shawl. Tori. I don't think she's trying to look sexy. It's she's a, a it, swimsuit. She's edition. 80. Yeah. And she's looked really hot, like real hot. Okay. And this is not it. Okay. And check out 69 year old Gail King in this pink and purple dress mm -hmm. with the thumb hole. We like a good thumb hole. Yeah. Now, today is the official launch of the 60th anniversary of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. And as you can see, one of the covers features a wide variety of models, including Martha. Christy and Tyra Banks. The magazine also released some issues with individuals on the cover like Gail in this pink and green one piece. And here is some behind the scenes footage of her being photographed in various bathing suits for the special edition. She said she was shocked to learn that she'd been chosen for a cover model. So what do we all think of the magazine opting to include some older models like this? And who is uh, Tori, you have some factoids. Who is buying this magazine now? Yeah, so it used to be, remember, the issue that men would get before the internet. Everybody wanted Or boys. It. Or boys. Yes. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they used to have uh, oh, 3 million at some point, and now they have 1.2 million paid Sports Illustrated subscribers in 2023. So about they've lost about half. So in my opinion, these pictures of the past that really were for men have switched over They've realized there's the internet. And who would want to look at a one-piece outfit on Gail King? I would. A mother. I want to. A mom. Yes. A 42-year-old yes. a, a, a like me that's looking for a good outfit. A swimsuit. I'm actually looking at the swimsuit. So, in my opinion, Sports Illustrated has taken the swimsuit edition and switched it to a much more feminine, uh, much more uh, friendly, <coughs> age-inclusive. They have the pocketbook, educated, uh, well-off women who are interested in buying high-end. So, it's a catalog now, it so is. to speak. I think, and it's but wonderful. I don't that that business model doesn't make sense because they don't do that year round. There are, I'm it's sure, summer, magazines. It's not summer year round. I know, but this is just one issue. If you're like, we want to be the issue that we want to be the, the the publication where women of a certain age with a certain uh, amount of money come to shop, then you don't put that out once a year. That should be your brand. This is a one off. So when you have a one off, even when it was at its height, it was a one off uh, publication with the swimsuits. What, so if you're not going to go after the young men and the older men, are you really going to hope to be in the top of mind to women that have never bought that issue ever before in their life? Well, I think this is this is where strategy comes in, because I agree with you, Al. Um, when you look at SI.com, 35% is women. So obviously, they're still very much a male or, you know, oriented website. When you talk about people who are actually purchasing magazines, of course, you're talking about an older demographic. On SI.com, it's like 60% is 35 and up. So you have 35 and up males. If we're going to cater to women, which I don't think is a, a bad business strategy, I think w between the rise of women's sports and people who have become superstars in women's sports, kind of leaning into the women's side of the business is probably a great practice, but this is where we as women have to put our money where yeah. our mouth is. Mm. Because everybody always wants to complain that we're not getting enough shine or there isn't enough resources poured into women's athletics or you know women being featured in all the iterations that we come. But are we supporting right. these movements? Good for you. So what we should, if great you support point. this, we should go to the nearest magazine stand and go purchase one. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to. Tori, are you? And use the analytics. Like I would use the power of Jeff. analytics. Yes, I'll be going. I don't even know where a magazine is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the grocery store. Is there? Barnes yes. and Noble. Do you the think this maybe? is their rebrand? 
I, uh, that's a, I assume that's what it is, right? For me, it, and I, everyone looks great, right? But for me, when I think of a cover model, like, let's take men's health. Let's switch it up a little bit. I want to see somebody that's unattainable. I want to know, wow, where did that guy come from? How, what does he do? What does he eat? I want to read about that person. How did he get like that? I don't want to see someone that looks like me. Gross, right? <laughs> I want to I want to, I want to stretch my goals. Big. I want to work harder so I could look like that. I thought that was the ideal situation for a cover model. That has all changed now. People want to see themselves. I don't necessarily want to right. see myself. I want to see something that's unattainable. Well, Jeff, we want so relatability. I, I, I think, right. you, I think relatability. you and Erica are really talking about the same thing, but just two different business models. I think when Erica's talking and, and Tori and Sam are talking about looking at swimsuits, they're like, what will be good on me? I'm a mom. Uh, you know, I, I want to cover up, but also I'm still feel sexy. I'm in my one piece, Sarah. Yes, and, and, that, and uh, hopefully if they're good at their job, they'll, they'll figure out uh, a suit and a model that relates to Sam. I'm sure that they have people that have done their research and they're like guys want to see guys kind of their age that are in better shape than they are and we want to feature them to say hey Jeff next summer you could look like this and that business model talks to Jeff and has nothing to say to you guys so I think yeah, these, this, yeah. this magazine or Men's Health these two different magazines are going at the two different demographics separately. Well said.